Hey kids, it's Papa. You ready to explore the Bible? All right. Hey, um, take your Bibles and turn with me back to Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. Now, last time we talked about the woman in uh, verses 1 and 2 and uh, verses 5 and 6. And, and uh, so it's it, we're getting into some exciting times here because uh, it's an interesting explanation that we see in verse Three. Take a look at it. We've just talked about the woman in verses 1 and 2. In verse 3 it says, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and seven horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Uh, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Okay? And uh, so, ooh, this is a real nasty dragon. Yeah. Well, obviously, because, and you know, we could debate as to who this is, but God in his grace has told us exactly who the dragon is. Take a look at verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Now, some things we need to talk about. First of all, this happened being cast out. This happened before the earth was, uh, well, when the earth was created. And remember, Satan lifted himself up in pride and said, I will be this, and I will be this, and I will be this, and I will be like the Most High. And God cast him uh, out and all of the angels that followed him. Now, there are three angels that we know of that are named. There's Gabriel, uh, and there, he is a uh, messenger angel. And there is Gabriel, and he is a military angel. And there is Lucifer, and he is a musical angel. He was the covering cherub, a praising of God. And, and he was the one that became Satan. And he was cast out, and the Bible tells us elsewhere that he took a lot of his angels with him. Um, and it's interesting here, it talks about how he swept one third of the stars. We're, we're led to believe that each of the three named angels had a third of the heavenly host with them. And so apparently Lucifer took his angels with him to earth. Okay, so we know who this is. Now let's take a look at how he's described. Um, verse three, and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and 10 horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Now, interesting, he's got ten, uh, seven heads, uh, but 10 horns. Now, the horns here are not talking about, you know, horns coming out of his head. It's talking about horns, uh, you know, like, you know, that kind of horn. Uh, and those are normally symbols of power. Okay, of actual power. Crowns are a symbol of authority. Okay, and so he was given the authority over the earth by Adam. Remember when Adam was given dominion of the earth? Okay, authority over the earth. And then he fell and he ended up giving that then to Satan. So, a lot of things to think about. But, what you do need to understand is that this is Satan and that he hates God and he was going to kill Jesus. And we find that he wanted to do that long ago in the garden. Uh, he tried to do that uh, at the, the, uh, the, the trials and then he ended up actually killing Jesus at the crucifixion. Okay, but then, of course, Jesus rose from the dead. So that kind of messed up his plans. <laughs> But uh, what, a, what an amazing thing here. We find that the, the past and the future are coming together in these prophecies. And uh, so we're going to see how it builds on this a little bit in the future. So what have we learned? Well, we've learned that the dragon is Satan. 
uh, that, that he has dominion over the earth and authority over the earth and that he is hating God so much that he wanted to kill Christ immediately upon birth. Uh, it's interesting that Herod tried to kill Jesus right after Jesus was born. So a lot of these things are coming together. Um, and we're going to see how that this goes from the far past when Satan fell to the past when Jesus was born to the future uh, during the, uh, the millennium, the tribulation and then the millennium. So a lot of things coming together here. Kind of neat, huh? All right. Hey, love you guys. See you later. Bye.